Hello fellow U-Botters, this is Lily with U-Bot Studio and today we're going to be talking about how to scrape information from a table and save it into a file in U-Bot 4. So sometimes you might encounter a group of information that's been arranged in a table and you want to scrape all the information in the table and you don't want to have to go through and select every single piece of information individually and then have to save that one by one. So what we're going to teach you how to do in this tutorial is how to save everything in the table and keep it arranged and save it to a file for later use. So the first thing we're going to do is go under tools right here and go under options. You, it's best to determine what kind of delimiter you would like to see in your table. In this case, let's say that the this is going to be our delimiter as opposed to a comma. So this is our delimiter. It can be anything. So keep that in mind. So let's set that first. The scrape table command can be found under the action commands. So when you're ready to use it, just go to your page that has the information you need. And in this case, we are researching a keyword and we're trying to grab the information from that keyword. So the first thing you're going to do is we're going to select an element from that table. So let's use our element selector and let's use this as an example. So that has been selected and let's name a table where all this information will go into. So uh, let's give it organic fruits. That's where that's going to go. So we are going to be scraping this table by grabbing one of the items within that table. And that is the criteria. That item is the criteria that's going to be used to grab everything else within that table. And then we're naming a table and then we're placing the results into that table. So let's add a save to file command just so we see our information saved and displayed in a file. So go under system commands and drag in the save to file command. So the content we're going to be saving is a table and here it is organic fruits. Just drag it into the content to save field and now we have our file path written in there so click OK. So this is the file that it's going to be saving it to so keep that in mind. So let's run our script and see what happens. We're scraping the table and then we're saving to file. Let's go to our file and you can see that all the results from the table for the keyword we researched have been saved to the file and our delimiter, notice that our delimiter is the colon we chose. So if we want to scrape again and change the delimiter, let's go into tools and select options. Let's change it to a comma. And it's, so it's, it's always best to clear your table if you're going to keep saving new information to it. Otherwise, you'll have a table full of clutter. So it's best to add a clear table to your script. Okay, so let's go under data commands. And let's drag in a clear table. And the table we're going to be clearing is organic fruits. Click OK. So let's run our script again and see what the change to the delimiter does to our information in the file. So let's run it. It's cleared. It's saved. And as you can see, the delimiter has been changed. And the delimiter is a comma. So that is the scrape table function. It's pretty straightforward. You just select an element from the table and it just adds it to a table within UBOT Studio. And then you can then save that table to a file and then you can use that table however you need to in the future. So if you need an example, a sample script of 
this setup, you can go to our knowledge base and we have some sample scripts for UBOT4 in the knowledge base under downloads. So feel free to check that out and play with it and tweak it however you need to to see how everything falls together. So that is the tutorial for Scrape Table. I hope you got a lot out of it. If you have any questions, you can go to support.ubotstudio.com and we'll be happy to help you there. Thank you. Take care.